You almost ready? Taxi's gonna be here any second. Yep, I just need to finish labeling these meals for my dad. I still think you should have got one of those things they have for cats, you know, where the food falls directly into the bowl when you hit it? <laughs> I know he could learn that, you know? <laughs> Kids, sorry to be the killjoy here, but I don't think this is a good time for you to be going away. Why not? There's a very nasty odor down in the basement. <laughs> What kind of odor, Dad? It's quite noxious. I've been feeling lightheaded for several days. He's just making it up because he knows we're going away without him. That's not true. You pulled the same thing when we were going to Ocean City. I had sweaty palms and you know it. <laughs> come, come on, there's a taxi. All right, honey, could you just go down and check it out, please? Fine. Come on, Arthur. OK, I'm smelling nothing coming from this area. I tried to get the panel off. Then I got woozy and had to lie down. <laughs> Doesn't smell that bad. What the hell is that? Looks like some type of mold. Hi, what's going on? Uh, just a sec. All right, look. I got a taxi up there waiting to take me to paradise. Here's how it's gonna go down. First, we're gonna close this up. Then, we're gonna close this up. Everything okay down there? Just fine and dandy. It's fine. And? I gave you fine, but I draw the line at dandy. <laughs> The sky is so beautiful. Yeah, it's like an oil painting. Mm. Sea air smells great, doesn't it, honey? Somebody around here has potato chips. <laughs> Thanks again for lunch, you guys, and for paying for the cabanas. Sure. Uh, tomorrow night, dinner is on us, and I don't want to hear any arguments. All right. All right. I don't think we're hearing any. <laughs> I hear they have this dish here. It's called sizzling lobster. It's supposed to be incredible. Oh, well, slap a bib on me and watch my arteries close up. Hey, moisturizer. What? My moisturizer. I can't hear you. I'm in the other room of our two-room suite. Doug. Carrie? Oi. How great are these robes, huh? Mm -hmm. We look like freaking polar bears. Stop! Stop! Stop. Stop. <laughs> 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 what we're paying, I'm taking these robes home. <laughs> Hey, we said we're gonna forget about money and just enjoy this week, right? You're right, you're right, you're right. And that means treating the mini bar like it's a refrigerator at home. Look, and right now, I want you to take a picture of me with this $25 disposable camera eating this $7 Twix. Come on, here, right there. There you go. Stop. Oh. Oh. That's probably Mike about golf tomorrow, but you know what? I'm gonna answer it in the sitting room because this phone, it bores me. Hello? Douglas, it's Arthur Spooner. <laughs> okay, last name's not necessary. What's up? I had a Mr. Dick St. John of Mold Masters over to look at the situation. Arthur, I told you to leave it alone and just sleep upstairs. And I quote, large area of interior walls infested with stacky buttress type growth, pipes and wiring also affected. Did he say how much it would cost to clean it up? And I quote, <laughs> to remove all mold, estimated cost $7,025. $7,000? I'll await further instructions. Goodbye. <laughs>